smallest towns, they haven't killed me because I'm so spot on. They don't want to kill me and draw attention to everything I said because I've reverse engineered what they've done and I've gone out and done the interviews and gotten the documents and gotten it all together and put it all together. And let me tell you, it isn't pretty, ladies and gentlemen. And these people don't play games. We're not playing games here going up against them. They don't control all the media. They don't control all the press. In fact, they don't control a lot of things. They just sit up there and claim, oh, you know, the people they try to corrupt, it's for national security. And let me tell you why they're in trouble right now. Because hundreds of prominent former CIA section chiefs and top analysts and field commanders have gone public and have said this is a national security police state control grid high tech enslavement system being set up thank you this is full spectrum dominance of the American people and the people of the world this is not for the red white and blue so they're all saying no to all this so what's the CIA doing they are running radio and TV and print ads everywhere and they are planning to triple their size and basically fire everyone and, just, and, and then now they're looking for felons. Let me give you a little tip here. They want aggravated felons, they're hiring child molesters, they're hiring crooks. Now they've always done that as, as, as operatives and, and they've always done that for people they handle, for assets that the handlers control. But now they are making up the cores of Army intelligence, defense intelligence, with sickos. Who do you think they peopled Abu Ghraib and hundreds of other camps around the world with? It's admitted. They would go find former federal prison guards and state prison guards who'd lost jobs for raping prisoners and beating them and their Google account and see what they're visiting online to a psychological profile. Oh, yeah, everybody's got one. And then they go hire them. But that area in intelligence, but they're hiring former death squad brigades out of Venezuela, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Brazil. And guess who else they're hiring? Aggravated felons. I mean rapists. That's the mainstream news. The mainstream news says, though, oh, they're hiring rapists and, and, and arsonists because they're good and they'll get the job done. You're an illegitimate, bankrupt group of drug-dealing sickos, and I'm done with you. And the United States of America declares war on you, black ops. You will be defeated. Just do what it please. Cool, cool, blonde. Swiss accounts. Yeah, you heard me right. A 60 plus trillion conservatively, if you leverage it, it's in the thousands of trillions. Oh, you want sources? Mm, AP headlines, September 10th, 2001. 1.9 trillion missing from Pentagon funds, and some of the geniuses out there will uh, say, hey, wait a minute. Uh, Alex, the, the whole defense budget's only 80 billion a year. All of that and more has been taken, and then the Pentagon borrowed money, and then it was handed directly to offshore corporations. I mean, generals would get billions apiece, uh, but uh, you know the head guys, we're talking trillions. And, but what do the privates get in Iraq? They get 35,000 secret cash. Now, admit it, we told you years before it was in the news. Those big pallets of billions of cash are flowing every day, and then that's a corruption. And then the troops are offered more. They say, here's a hundred grand to kill your captain. He's been blowing the whistle about uh, what we're doing here. You know, old Dyncourt's flying some kids out. Oh, yeah, and so they just, there's been record numbers of, so they're also killing uh, in the uh, military all the investigation arms that were not corrupted. See, the cancer's racing through everything right now. They're killing the investigators. They're killing the good FBI agents. Uh, they're killing the good CIA people, or they're demonizing them or setting them up, and, and then they're just hiring and the criminals and the murderers and just grabbing the gang members and doing the psychological assessments for psychopaths that don't have records and just building their army of Mordor. It's 
so much fun for them. And then they tell you, oh, oh yeah, that was eight years ago, seven and a half years ago. Guess how much is missing from the Pentagon now? Last time I saw a congressional hearing on it, the Pentagon says they will not discuss it in national security. And then they mentioned PDD-51. That means Congress no longer has authority. And Congress says, that's right. Now, of course, Congress is co-equal to the president, so how could the presidency say you have no authority and cannot even see what we're doing? Uh, well, they don't have the paramilitary forces or the nukes or the neutron bombs. You see, in official U.S. government and British government documents, like last year's 100-and-something page, British Ministry of Defense Perspective, where they look forward and, and, and predict... They say that if anyone tries to take over the British government, i.e. the people or even the parliament, or if the people in the U.S. were to, say, try to march on Washington and take it over, a neutron bomb will be dropped on you. Oh, you don't believe me there. That's official policy. Because they own the banks. They own the neutron bombs. They own the death squads. They own the FEMA camps. They own the coca fields. They own the heroin plantations where they're growing the poppies. And they've got the power. And they say, hey, we're the smart people. You're the dumb people. Shut up. We're going to take the dollar. We're going to buy up all the real assets in the world in the name of the dollar. And then we're going to deflate it overnight by inflating it and let you hold the bill for it and leave a vanguard police state behind as we all move to Switzerland and Paraguay, and Spain. And if you don't like it, if you don't like it, we'll just release a bioweapon and say Al-Qaeda did it and kill a couple million of you, and then you'll plead to your government real fast. Won't you? I'm told from high-level sources that actually a lot of globalists listen to this show because they enjoy it. They like it there's somebody out there telling them what's being done to you because they say you're so cowardly and stupid and pathetic that you won't even do anything about it. You'll go cling to Barack Obama's skirt or to Joe Biden's baby or you'll go to Sarah or you'll go to John McCain and hang on their skirt. Oh, mommy, 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 help me. And they'll go, oh, I'm going to help you real good. I'm going to take everything you got, slave, and then I'm going to draft your kids claiming it's to fight terrorists and you're going to go back our empire up, aren't you? You're going to say, yes, I'll give you my kids. I love being a schmuck and an idiot. I love being conned over and over again. I love being the dumbest people on earth. Let me explain something. The boys that run our countries, they bought themselves villas and, and whole lakes and whole sectors of countries and the Nigerian oil fields. That's come out that Halliburton and Cheney directly hundreds of millions in, 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 in bribes. Nothing will happen to him. It doesn't matter because they've got men in black uniforms with devil tattoos that can't wait to kill you and your family if they snap their fingers. And all they're waiting for is to sell you on their whole police state apparatus. Play that CIA ad that's airing all over the country. This is them recruiting. This is the type of bull. You know, but hey, if you're not a felon or if you don't have a psychopathic web surfing, which they're tracking and watching your psychological profile, do not go apply. Here it is. Are you ready for a world of challenge? A world of possibilities? A world of ambiguity and adventure? Be a part of the National Clandestine Service at the Central Intelligence Agency. Are you a person of purpose, professionalism, with curiosity and policymakers informed, and share a mission that's larger than all of us? Oh, yeah. Are you an extraordinary person with a strong sense of patriotism? Learn more about a career with the National Clandestine Service at the Central Intelligence Agency. Visit CIA.gov and click on Careers. That's CIA.gov. Start making a world of difference today. The Central Intelligence Agency, the work of the nation, the center of intelligence. Equal opportunity employer, U.S. citizenship required. All right, let me tell you how this really works, okay? Let's say you go fill out the paperwork. You're the captain of the football team. You're a college uh, football guy. You believe in America. You don't know Al-Qaeda was the name of a computer program in 79 uh, for Muslim extremists working for the CIA. You think you're smart. You think you're intellectual because you watch Frontline. And you want to go join like Pat Tillman did. You want to go join Special Force. You want to go join the CIA. You want to go join Defense Intelligence. 
They'll have questionnaires. They'll God will have your whole web surfing history. You'll never be told that. You're compartmentalized. Uh, and if you're a good guy, they're going to have you out BSing the local villagers living with them for three years in your Peace Corps front to take vaccines. And because you believe it's really helping him, you'll be the perfect salesman to sterilize those people.